Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Rick Olivares. Welcome to the first episode of Blue Eagle 40 for the second semester. Ito na. Matagal nung hinihintay, marami nagre-request kung kailan mag-guest si Kiefer Ravenna sa show. So, without further ado, Kiefer Ravenna. Kiefer, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of people have been asking when we were going to have you. We were thinking about towards the end of last sem, mm -hmm. pero... Uh, nangyari, hindi namin mabuo lahat yung mga graduating players. Yeah. Sabi namin, sige, we'll reserve Keith na lang for the first episode of the second set. Pero how are you? How are you now? Doing good. Um, you know, uh, after season, and focus on school, uh, trying to catch up on everything. And then, right, uh, syempre, nag-basketball pa rin. I'm with Gilas right now. Uh -huh. So, that's the focus of my basketball career right now. Okay, before we talk about sabi mo yung past season, let's talk about school right now. I think off cam we were talking about you taking up night classes at yes, second yes. semester. Tell us and tell the fans out there, mahirap ba yung mag-adjust sa purely morning, afternoon to evening classes, especially with your body clock as a player? Oh, syempre. Parang uh, with school kasi it, it plays with your mind more than I practice kasi. With practice more on the physical activities uh, and everything. Right, right. Uh, pero nakakapagod, nakaka-drain din, especially when you have night classes and your body so accustomed to practicing. Uh -huh. Ex exacto pa yung night class ko, 6 to 9, and that's where we really practice. Wow. So, um, naka ano, uh, nakakapanibago kasi parang you just sit down there for 3 hours. Pero you, you learn, pero you use your mind more than your body. That's right. Uh, so, and then, yun lang. Nakakapanibago lang kasi I've been practicing for... Uh, at night for uh -huh. the past probably six, seven years, uh -huh. day in, day out. And then, nasanay lao ngayon lao na kurun night classes. Pero, I'm having fun then with new classmates and everything. Uh, I'm, I'm taking up finance 103. Oh, that's or, interesting. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, you talked about finance. In case Kiefer Avena is not into sports, what mm. would you be doing? Hmm. Well, I'm in my ma Comtech management uh, course. Ko. So, probably something into business. Uh, you know, something that would really help me whenever I'm done with basketball or if I'm not playing basketball and, uh, you know, something that would really be good as a backup. I see you all over campus, no? uh, not just for sports, but also within the, the college itself. What would be your most enjoyable subjects? Subjects? Most em I, I like, you know, com actually. Uh -huh. I like com and then uh, I like my... What do you call this? My marketing class as well. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's that type of classes na you can use. Not saying that I won't be able to use all the other subjects of that course, I've been learning. Of course. But those are the more or less real life subjects uh, na I can apply when it comes to life. To and they appeal to you yeah, as well. Yeah. That's right. Okay, Keith, look, I, I want to ask you. I've, I've seen you play since your grade school days. I've never seen a season like the past one. Mm -hmm. Is this the most difficult season that you've had to endure as a, a basketball player? Uh, well, yes. I think uh, I believe na every basketball player has a year or mm -hmm. a tournament that yes, he yes. wants to forget. Uh, for me, it's just last year na it's the first time I lost uh, past five, six years. Mm -hmm. And then it's so difficult for me. It's more difficult for me to accept that I wasn't able to give a championship to my seniors, to Ryan, to Frank, Poi, Wami. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't able to give something that I was able to give Greg, Nico, Justin, and, and uh, Oping, and everyone else. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I think that's the most difficult for me to really digest that I think I was a, a little unfair in my side, not being able to give 100% to the team, not being healthy to the team, and not being able to play at the start of the tournament. But, you know, some things just really happen for a yes, reason. Yes, definitely, and definitely. I think this is just a blessing for us na, uh, we, we have to know that we are invincible. We are still kami. So I think this is a big wake-up call for us to work on everything that we have to work on that we missed last season. Personally, Keith, did you have problems with your lift, with your, with your a jumping? A lot, a lot. Uh, uh, a lot of people really didn't know what my uh, ankle was doing. So uh -huh. I was just really hiding everything. Uh, but I guess hiding is also bad <laughs> na tinatago mo lang lahat sa sarili mo. So 
my ankle wasn't I wasn't really able to play 100% all throughout the season obviously mm. yes it was obvious. um it affected a lot of aspects of my game uh, I wasn't able to be as explosive as I was the past two years mm. uh, I wasn't able to jump as high as on my jump shot last year um, I couldn't bend too much as why I was bad on my free throws because I was using all arms mm. uh, and then the swelling is still there you know every now oh, really yeah it's still there until now um day in day out you know i treat it every day day by day but sometimes it will have days na masakit talaga siya na uh, sore siya in everything pero you know moro uh the, the sports clinic uh in moro really did their best to uh make my recovery as fast as possible kasi yun nga nung start ng tournament Oh, I sana kung we won like three games, two games, I could have just rested uh-huh. even longer. But um, I really wanted to be in the team already. Right. Well, no one can question you for your heart and your mm. commitment. And the fact that you you were not 100%, but you came out. That, well, personally, that's big for me because yeah. you could have just sat it out, but you came out and tried to do what you can for the team. But Keith, you talked about right now, it, there's still some swelling. Mm, there, there's still no? some swelling. Um, but. Are, you, are yes, you on I'm, the road to recovery and all that? Th- this is just the swelling. There's no pain. I think now good, I'm, good, good. I'm 100 percent right now. Oh, I mean, nice my hear. jumping is back. Uh, conditioning is just close to 100 um, percent. But the ankle is, doesn't really bother me. I, I I got over the mental aspect already uh, mm-hmm. as well. I think that's the most difficult part. Knowing that you have an injury, you take care of the other leg as well. So, yun yung pinaimportante sa akin yung uh, mental approach sa injury. I'm not thinking of it anymore. Uh, okay. I just play, play, play lang talaga. Hindi ko na siya iniisip. So, yun. Keith, you, talk, you mentioned earlier about na we're not as invincible as we like to think. This past season, obviously, uh, Lasala nag-champion. Parang yung ibang teams excited na makalaban tayo nung nalaman lang injured ka. Parang mm-hmm. they couldn't wait for their own brand of retribution against us. no Having said that, do you feel that this, since it's a new team, new coach, talagang iba na yung panahon, we have to get back to that? Yung may gutom ba? May gutom na no, to get ngay- back to that level? No, siguro na sobrang gutom siguro. Um, especially me. Uh, I personally, I'm the one helping or trying to recruit as much as players as I can uh, to help the team win. Right, right. So, ako uh, so, di ko alam, di ko mama describe kung gaano ako gusto manalo next year. Um, this, this is just my personal uh, needs or ako lang may gusto manalo. Pero I'm sure it's just not me. One last question about last season. The very final game of the second round no, against UST. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what was running through your mind in the final moments of that game? Then obviously we were out, you were not going to make the final mm-hmm. four. Do you, if you if you can recall, ano na iisip mo nung, pan, nung oras mismo na yon? Nung may time pa, eh, syempre, iniisip ko na, oy, kaya pa to, kaya pa to, ganyan mm-hmm. ba yan. Pero mm-hmm. as long, anong nag, ano na, nag final buzzer na, uh, yun, parang, it's just, it was just like, a blur. Parang, uh-huh. the season just went, yun, wala na. Tapos na, wala na tayong games. And then, it just hit me, actually, the day after na, oy, kailan schedule natin, wala na pala. So, din lang yung aftershock sa akin. Pero, um, wala eh. Parang ganun talaga. Um, yes, you can't be on top all yeah, the time, right? I yeah, mean, okay. sometimes, mas masakit lang kasi siguro yun nga sabi nila, success is very dangerous nga. No? The higher you go, you are, the when you fall, mas masakit. So, so sobrang dami siguro nung 5 beat na yun, nakala natin, nandun na tayo sa taas nung natalo. Parang sakit talaga. So, pero, you know, we're doing everything to get back on top slowly but without surely. a doubt yeah. what were your, what was the best advice your parents gave you post UAAP uh, get healthy <laughs> <laughs> that's the best advice that they gave me I think that's the only advice they gave me they never really gave me about losing uh, okay lang yan gan, gan. I mean they're athletes as well so yeah, of course, of course they know yeah. how to lose they know how to win yes, uh, but yes. most importantly that's what they told me you need to get healthy time to rest time to yeah you know, uh, focus on your ankle. That's right. Keith, okay, moving along. Most recently, Typhoon Yolanda, tinamaan tayo. Mm-hmm. One of the worst ever to hit our country. Yeah. What were you, 
you were I'm sure you were paying attention to what was going on in the Visayas. What were your thoughts about what was going on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't bear watching the news actually after the first couple of days. Um because you know, I was just, I was hit by Yolanda. I'm from Iloilo. Mm -hmm. I have a house in Concepcion where um, Yolanda hit uh, the fifth landfall of Yolanda was in Concepcion. Wow! Right. So concept, and I have a house uh, in Tambalis Island, which is like a hundred kilometers from Iloilo. Mm -hmm. It's a two-hour drive from Con uh, from Iloilo City to Concepcion. Right. It's a two-hour drive and then like 20 to 30 minutes boat to Tambalisa. So I was affected. Like the roof of my house was torn. It was like gone. And the generator was gone as well. My gate was da uh, sira lahat and everything. So I was affected and then thinking of it na parang, okay, my house is still standing. It's just the roof. I have a big house there. What more pa kaya yung mga... Ibang tao. So I couldn't, I, I didn't really pay attention to my house. So I was like, kung okay ba yung mga nag-aalaga nag dun sa house ko? Kung are they doing okay? Kasi wala talaga silang bahay. As in lahat. My mom was just there a week ago mm -hmm. to do some relief operations. So wala talaga. As in 90% of the island was gone. Uh, oh, out of right. the 20 classrooms, 3 or 4 lang ang pwede gamitin. Tapos, Re repair pa so hindi pa ayos na ayos uh -huh. so i have a charity game yes, uh, yes. i have a charity game on november 30 mm -hmm. it's going to be 12 to 5 pm in blue eagle gym uh -huh. and uh, we are going to try to rebuild as much as classrooms we can yes. uh, in conception but of course um, there will also be booths uh, there will be a total of at least 16 booths mm -hmm. to help provinces who were affected as well like right. there will be two booths uh which uh one booth that will be partners with another booth who will sell products and then the other booth will be receiving donations mm -hmm. for tacloban two for leite again two for bohol two for cebu two for bacolod two for capis and antique and um two for bacolod as well so so as much as possible we try to accommodate everything na everyone na tinamaan talaga ah, ng that's very nice uh, this is the second actually yeah, charity second game one. that you've organized the first one was Sendong tama ba? Sendong, yeah. Sendong. Um, take, take us through this how, how did you conceptualize this was it is something like this easy to put together um well kasi parang it started no fast break when it started off with the status in Facebook mm. uh, I just put it up and then I ate dinner came up with like 2,000 likes already, just like 30, one hour yeah. after one hour. Mm -hmm. So, dun siya na buo. And then, yun dun lang namin na conceptualize na parang kasi nung fast break one, we had like two weeks to do it. That's why we called fast break. Mm -hmm. So, and the, yung, yung ngayon sa fast break two kasi, parang okay lang, hindi namin, hindi, wala kami plans to do it. Mm -hmm. Pero, di ba, the, the earthquake happened. Yes. And then dumating pa to, sabi namin, oy, okay, grabe na siguro to. So, that's what we did. And doing it, uh, let's say, hindi siya mahirap kasi everyone wants to help talaga. Yes. yes. So, uh, the celebrities, the players, isang yaya mo lang, oy, para sa mga typhoon victims. I mean, they would really want to help, di ba? Right. And, what more na, uh, 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 hindi, na hindi sila o oh, oh, basketball pa. So, masaya talaga lahat. Okay. Sino mga kasama mo mga manlalaro at mga artista kung meron man uh, sa Okay. Ito? So, it will be uh, played in Duigal Gym with uh, the celebrities that will be playing will be Gerald Anderson, mm -hmm. Young JV, John Hilario, mm -hmm. um, Billy Crawford, Vong Navarro, Wow, nice. Arjo Ataide, Joe Vargas, Marco Alcaraz, Luis Alandi, um, I don't. I'm still getting back to Derek Ramsey and Daniel Padilla, mm -hmm. but the players will play me, Von Pesamal, Chris uh -huh. Newsom, Nico Elorde, uh, Garvalaneta, Kevin Alas, Matt Ganuelas, Jake Pascual. Um, who else? Basera Mer will be playing. Thirty Ravenna will be playing. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I really couldn't uh, invite Wami Chongson kasi ang taas ng talent fee ni Wami. <laughs> so, ang mahal ng talent fee ni Wami. Sabi ko, bro, for typhoon victims naman eh. So, sabi niya. <laughs> Pero, um, yun lang, yun yung mga maglalaro. And then, uh, half, there will be uh, bands that will be, pl- there will, first of all, there will be a mass at 12. Yes, yes, I yes. mean, to start up the festivities. Of course. There will be a mass by Father Tito Kaluwag. And then there will be a mini concert by uh, some bands from Ateneo and some other bands. And then uh, there will be um, a performance by CADS. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, at halftime, there will be a special halftime program together with Michelle Gumabao, Melissa Gohing, Phil Kinglet, Alisa, uh, Liza Valdez, Jack Jack Junella, and then Jen Reyes. There will be partners wow, I'm with. I'm excited already. <laughs> there, there, there will be partner, partnered, partners with six other basketball players to have a free throw contest. Wow, all right. Uh, and then, uh, I think we're pla- I don't know with Ray. Uh, I think uh, there will be an AVP presentation that will be a video made uh, through the documentation of what happened to everything and then yes. me and Ray Parks will be playing the guitar with Janina Chan wow. who will sing a special number for the people and then nice. for the video so I hope that we're gonna practice but I think we have to practice 6 to 9 as well <laughs> me and Ray <laughs> but uh, that's something to look forward to and then the game yes, and, yes you know okay kasi parang it's open to everyone and then it's free admission uh, no there will be tickets yun yung mapupunta sa classroom mm-hmm. so how much are the tickets the tickets are just 100 200 and 500 for the near ano mm-hmm. uh, patron door box and then the bleachers so it's going to be open to everyone nice, uh, nice. there will be booths and everything it's going to be like a mini party for everyone uh-huh. and it's also like uh, a celebration na tipong even though what happened was really devastating but Alam mo naman tayo mga Pilipino, ngingiti at ngingiti pa lang despite yes. of everything, uh-huh. diba? So that's something na we want to uh, send to everyone na despite what happened, we have a reason to smile, we mm-hmm. have reasons to be happy, and especially it's Christmas time, we would want to give back to the people who were affected, something to make them happy naman, especially uh-huh. this Yuletide season. Will this charity thing, the whole event, be televised? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I just wanted to keep it really... It will be uh, on live streaming though. Okay. I, I just wanted it to be simple and yeah. everything. And it will be hard if to televise something, you know. You have to pick a station, you know. Some players won't, might not play because of conflict with of the station. Course, so of course. I didn't really want to dwell on that. So, yes. Um, That's nice. That's nice. So. That's right. your, your folks will be... Yeah. Your mom I, will be back in time for that, right? Oh yeah, there will be my mom will be working during the everyone my friends will be working okay. everything for the fans. So, yun, it would be very nice to ha- see everyone there. I noticed that some of the people you mentioned who are involved are your Gilas teammates. Yes, yes. Keith, second time mo to play in the Sea Games. Iba ba yung pag defend ng ng gold medal? Kesha yung lalabad ka for the first time sa gold medal? Uh, I think iba-iba kasi parang this is pride at stake na parang mm-hmm. okay, uh, don't try to get our gold medal anymore so don't even attempt to so that's our um, motivation right now everyone's trying to beat us everyone's trying to catch up on Philippine basketball mm-hmm. uh, and tayo naman ayo natin magpahabol gusto natin lumayo pa kasi nasa world na tayo di ba? Yes, at least yes, we're in yes, the worlds yes. already so, ayun yung ginagawa namin ngayon. We're just trying to, we are trying to dominate Southeast Asia. Yes. To be, uh, to call this, to be back on the map of Asia. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung ginagawa namin. Keith, your first gold medal in the SEA Games was 2011. 20 years before that, your dad won his SEA mm-hmm. Games. Oh, 10. Oh. Oh yeah, 20 19, years. 20 yeah, years, yeah, yeah. I was I was Ooh. up in the bleachers waving a huge Philippine flag. Uh, Don H. Chotik was the team captain then. Yeah. Um, was there any advice by your dad before playing the SEA Games in 2011 with Sinag? Uh, we just actually we actually knew that we had a 20-year gap with the gold medal. Kailan ba to? Noon lang, noon na nalang kami. Parang, kailan ba nag si Papa? Parang, oy, 91, astig. Parang 20 years, so... Mm. Uh, as ni, ganun na siya katanda. <laughs> <laughs> Parang, uh, uh, 
uh, yun lang, parang it's something na, okay, I have something you also have, di ba? Uh, na I'm going to exceed it na. I have to. <laughs> so, yun yung yeah, yeah. Okay. There are a few of you who are uh, playing yeah. again on the national yeah. team. Ray, Garvo, Jake. Ray, yeah, Garvo, Jake. Me. Okay, yes, and yeah. yourself, no? Um, describe the feeling, the difference between the CNAG team and this team. Obviously, different coach. More new players, first time on the national team, the guys like Kevin Alas and the mm. others. No? Uh, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun to play actually with them, with those guys. Parang this the time that you know you just sit back on the bench, let them <laughs> play. Because parang eh, they're really good players. With Jericho Cruz, Sumang, Bello, Ferrer, Parks, you, you can pinpoint every everyone's an MVP candidate in the UAP. So. Mm. Um, it's just fun to really actually watch them play. Na parang oi kalaban kaya natin. Tapos on the same team pa yun. Same team pa parang ay salamat kaya umpi kasi la. So it's just an experience for me also. Try to get better every time. Some people say that it's difficult when you have a team of stars, but we've seen that it's not the case in all, di ba? Like if you look at the dream team, walang problema sa chemistry with with this team. How fun is it passing the ball to guys like Roy Suman? So, so, oh nga eh, parang minsan nga ngayon pa kami nakakahiyaan kasi parang kung sino bang titira sa atin, ganyan, ganyan. Kasi parang ako ang theory ko lang dyan kasi parang it's really different when you're in a team that's fighting for your country. You know, that's despite sabihin natin, examples natin, soldiers natin, mga sundalo. Parang iisa lang naman goal nila eh. Hindi naman yung tipong mabigyan sila ng Medal of Honor at the end of the mission. Tatay nila, i-defend eh, defen- eh, yung bansa natin. Yes, so kami, yes. ganun din na kami. Parang, uh, no matter what, no matter who gets the ac- all the accolades, you know, no matter who gets all the awards, uh, as long as we get the gold medal, that's something that we can use, that, you know, we can tell to everyone na I serve my country well. Um, for three months of practicing and you know of tournament, so yun lang. If you saw obviously the Gilas Pilipinas team in the FIBA, recent FIBA Asia, where we re-establish ourselves as a regional power, you talked about also dominating Southeast Asia. How do you feel about Philippine basketball at this point, having seen FIBA, have you being a national player as well? It's ba- it's definitely back. Well, it never really went away. True. Uh, that's one thing na misconception ng tao na wala tayo sa mapa ng basketball sa Asia. Mm-hmm. We just sometimes, unfortunate, you know, started probably with 2002, the Busan Asian Games, and then just, you know, mislaps lang na tipong, natatalo lang naman tayo sa dulo eh. Oh, sa we dulo would lang. fight with uh-huh. Korea, Iran, China. Uh-huh. We would always uh-huh. be fourth place besides the three. Uh, so, we could also see Chinese Taipei rising up to everything. So, mm-hmm. Ngayon, parang, yun yung nakikita ko, parang it never really went away, probably, you know, yun nga, parang kami sa UAP, may rain ka lang na tipong ganyan, ganyan na may time ka lang na ikaw yes. lang talaga eh. You know, probably China was there, Iran was there, you know, it's time for the Philippines and I believe so that we can do it as well with all the players that we have, all the upcoming players that we have. Um, it's just time na lang siguro where eventually we'll be on top and then we will get be we will get noticed by the whole world that Philippines is a team na you'll have to fight for na hindi lang ibibigay sa yung laro okay for the benefit of the fans out there tell them when uh, this Gilas team will be leaving for Myanmar and when you guys will be back um we will be leaving on December 4 mm-hmm. oh 5 4 or 5 and then the tournament itself will be will start from December seven to six uh, to fifteen uh, to be in Myanmar, um, and then we will be back on December sixteen, hopefully with a gold medal. Kayan. Okay, yes. moving along. Malapit tayo. We're approaching the end of our show. Yesterday was the opening of the 39th season of the Philippine Basketball Association. A number of your former teammates have moved on to the pros. How do you feel about seeing all these guys drafted? Not just drafted, but even one of them going as number one, right? like Greg mm-hmm. Slaughter. Uh, how do you feel about seeing uh, it's, all your teammates? Uh, there? It's very, uh, actually, very happy for them. Very excited, pa nga eh, knowing that, oh, yeah, I played with that guy, you know, Greg, mm-hmm. uh, 
three of them in the first round. Greg, Justin, Justin and Ryan. Yeah. And then Nico and uh, Poi and then Oping got yeah. drafted second uh, uh latter rounds. Uh -huh. Um so very happy also nila parang it's that sense of fulfillment for them na naisip ko na gano kaya kasaya to lalo na sila Poi, sila Oping na all their hard work paid off na getting drafted pa lang is Something na uh, isipin mo yun, out of the 84, 84 85, 85 yeah. candidates, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you got into the big league. So, uh, yun lang uh, yung fulfillment sa kanila na alam ko na masobrang saya nila. Uh, Siyempre, as a former teammate of them, uh, masaya din. Kasi parang, yun nga, andito na, andun, andun, andun na sila. And then, syempre, hindi lang naman yung makakampi ko yung mga na-draft. Mga kalaban ko din na-draft. Sila, Jeric, for uh -huh. the Jericks, for uh -huh. Tuna and Teng. Uh -huh. L.A. Revilla was drafted. Yes. So, very happy din ako for them knowing that um, nandun na din sila sa, yun, inaantay na. Ito naman yung lahat inaasam-asam ng mga tao, eh, ng mga Ito basketball yan. player mapunta sa PBA, di ba? Uh, yun nga, na may nagsabi lang sa akin kasi ang taas talaga nung hinihingi ng Wami Chong Son sa kontrata niya. Hindi <laughs> pa na na-draft, nagpapakontrata na. <laughs> Sabi ko, grabe naman to si Wami. Wala pang draft, nagpapanegotiate na ng contract. Kaya, eh, wala daw mo, oo. Eh, Dapat wala. yung key for the na kunin niyang uh, hente. Sabi, sabi ko, wala talaga to si Wami. Alam mo, Keith, nung isang araw, nag-attend ako ng practice ng Global Port. No? Sabi ni Justin, sabi niya, Sir, maniwala ka, barkada ko ngayon. Sila RR. Sila Ilya. Oo, sila. Kakasama sila doon. Oo, sila raw magkakasama raw eh. Parang one big group daw. They're the ones going together in and out. Kasi syempre nahiharap na sa mga veterans, no? Pero having said that, it's like even with the Gilas team, di ba? Pag once the UAP ends, you're all friends naman, di ba? That's something na hindi rin nakikita ng tao. Sa court lang naman kami magkakalaban. Tsaka minsan yung fans lang naman mainit eh. Oo, actually. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Keith. Uh, okay, then sa uh, looking at the PBA, uh, having seen you through the years, I would always see you even during PBA games watching. Is it something as a kid? Did you did you see your dad play? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you saw yes, yes, yes. you saw him play, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what were you feeling back then as a as a young kid seeing your dad play and all that? Um, well, lalo ka ba na inspire? Actually, ano eh? Ever since siya talaga gusto na mag-basketball. Uh, so, I really didn't have um, any, uh, I didn't have any choice but to play kasi gusto ko rin talaga siya. Hindi naman ako pinipilit, hindi naman ako fin-force maglaro. Pinilit ko talaga na walang mag na hindi magkaroon ng choice kundi maglaro. Kasi para maka-focus talaga ako sa basketball. So, you know, eventually my time will come na tipong yung papanood ko yung dad ko naglalaro siya doon. Siyempre, may kita ko, uy, galing nun. Nagagawa niya pala yun. So, napapat, napapattern ko yung game ko sa kanya before. So, yeah. Well, just to tell you, Keith, no? when your dad was playing for UE, nagdadasal lang kami matapos na yung game kasi one-man wrecking crew siya. <laughs> no kidding. We would just pray that sana matapos na yung time because I do not recall anyone stopping him back there. He was this tall guy, unstoppable, and you know UE. They had they still had a good team, but he literally carried that UE team. Mm. And uh, ang hirap kalaban, ang hirap kabe. Okay, at home with yourself, your with thirty, your mom, your dad. Siri, bro, ba mga discussion just sports? I'm interest, interested uh, to hear yeah, this. Man. How do you talk about sports back uh, home? Uh, it's more of a competitive type of discussion, na parang. Oh, if you do this, I'll give you this. That's ano, parang chin challenge lang namin bawat isa. Mm -hmm. And my sister's coming up with Miriam naman with volleyball. So mm, wow, all right. Uh, she's 13 and she's like five seven already. Okay. Uh, tall as my mom. And then, uh, 3D is bigger than me and everything. We're just trying to challenge everyone. There's more of that kind of discussion. Na parang we don't, uh, kasi athletes eh, so. Uh -uh. We li we live by the saying you're only as good as your last game. Uh -huh. So interesting. <laughs> competitive talaga. <laughs> sobrang competitive talaga. <laughs> Tipong pag humirit ka na ako nga nung ganito, 30 points ako eh. Tapos na yun, yun lang sasabihin <laughs> sa iyo. Ganun lang. Ano, tapos na yun. Like eight kahapon, ilan points ka? 12. Wala. 
Oh, wala. Ganun. Yeah. Ganun talaga. <laughs> Parang ganun kami sa bahay. Walang so, sobrang competitive. Tsaka sobrang saya din. It must be gratifying for your mom to finally have someone take up the sport where she made a name for herself. <laughs> Actually, kaya ngayon, kawawa yung sister ko kasi... <laughs> Tutok na tutok si, ma- si mama sa kanya kasi parang <laughs> finally a volleyball player. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Keith, uh, we're on our last few minutes of the show. Um, briefly, take us where the Ateneo Blue Eagles are at at this moment. Uh, ano ginagawa natin? What's next uh, for us? Ano ngayon? Siyempre ngayon, nandun pa kami stage ng recruitment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we have to find the point guard that will really re- re- replace Swami Chongson. Uh, mm-hmm. And who will not never not ask, ask for, for money? Yeah, 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 too much okay. money. Okay. Um, and then, champagne. We have to find the pieces that we missed uh, last year. Uh, big guys, uh, mm-hmm. defenders, mm-hmm. and we have to mature. Um, I mean, we're that in we're in that stage. Na okay, we have this experience. We're carrying this experience for us next year to keep us hungry. To keep us. Uh, aware na we lost. We're not defending champions anymore. We have mm-hmm. to fight for it. We have to get back again on top and then beat Lasal. That's it. Okay. My last question before we call this episode an episode. Were you able to lob an alley oop to Chris Newsom? Kasi sila, si Greg na babatuhan mo. Oh, no, uh, ko. Uh, Ito kay Chris ba? Nakabato ka ba? This year? Last year? Uh, last season? Uh, Hindi eh, kasi uh, binayaran ni, humingi ng pera si Wami kay Chris oh. para si Wami magbay. Ako dapat magpapasa. Naku. Eh, kinontrata ni Wami. Na. May pera kasi. So, um, ayun, wala. Hindi ko napasa. Sorry guys, next year lang ulit. At least, wala nang negosyante sa team na <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. Keith Ravenna on the show of Blue Eagle 40. Keith, thank you for thank you, appearing thank on the you. show. Thank sure, you so much. You. We wish you luck with your uh, charity game. Walang pangalan yung charity game. Uh, Just Fast, fast Break, break 2. 2. Uh, hope everyone could watch. I mean, it's a benefit game. Again, it's going to be on November 30, um, 12 to 5 p.m. at the Blue Eagle Gym. Prices, uh, Ticket prices will be... Uh, uh, sold at 100, 200, and 500 pesos. Um, updates will be on my Twitter. You can get your tickets at Titan Katipunan. Well, not yet, but there will be tickets sold in Titan Katipunan and in school. And and we'll just follow up on the places that you can buy your tickets. So, hope to see you guys there. So, there you have it. Kiefer Ravenna for Blue Eagle 40. My name is Rico Livares. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we will have the judo and badminton teams of Ateneo. So, thank you for watching. One big fight.